Hello everyone, and welcome to the 10th episode of LOL Weekly. A weekly show about the League of Legends news and community. League of Legends news. In the news this week, we've got our hands on some early patch notes for the upcoming patch, and what we've got our hands on is that they're going to really nerf support. Now, um, Soroka is getting such a massive hit. What they've done is that her Astral Blessing, which is a healing move, the AP ratio has been cut in half. And the biggest thing of all is that the cooldown, which used to be 10 seconds, is now 20 seconds. So even with full cooldown reduction, you're still going to be above what it used to be, yep. which would be 12 seconds now, which is huge. Yeah, and the base heal has been increased by about 10%. The armor buff has been increased by about 20%. And the duration has been increased by a second, and the range has been increased a little bit. But all these I don't think compensate, really. They don't really... It'd be interesting to see how this works out, I would say. Yeah. Wish, her ultimate... The AP ratio has also been cut in half. The base heal has been reduced and the mana cost has been slightly reduced. But mana was never really a problem with her. But I don't think this is going to change realistically. It shouldn't change too much because in a big team fight, she heals one person, drops her ulti, and then that's basically it. She'll be dead. But her ulti, the ratio has been cut in times. half. You can, it's that's just that's ridiculous. Yeah. So now it's going to be it's going to be interesting. Yeah. But I think it, it might be a bit too big. Yeah. Uh, also, Star Call has had its cooldown reduced to two and a half seconds from three. Uh, but the base damage has been reduced, but it was never really used as a damage. The AP ratio has increased to 0.4 from 0.25. The mana cost has been reduced. Uh, Shred has been increased from eight all the way up to 12 at highest rank. Uh, and maximum stacks has been reduced to 10 from 20, which is quite good, really. Uh, Infuse has had its AP ratio increased to 0.75 from 0.6. Uh, it's had its cooldown reduced to 10 from 15, so that could be quite interesting. Uh, the silence duration has been compressed, so shortened, uh, by about half a second at each rank. And it no longer grants double mana on Soroka when self-cast. Yeah. So, kind of levelling her out, I would say. Yeah, and the other thing we've got a hold of is that Sona's also getting a bit of a nerf as well. The um, heal, it, Aria of Perseverance, the heal is being reduced by about 20%, and the AP ratio is being reduced by 0.1%. And but it will now grant double her passive aura bonus to heal target to the target itself. So you, you get double the bonus of the aura, which is it's, it's better. But you know, reducing the heal is always a bad thing. And they've but they have buffed lower them. lower global cooldown is quite a big thing for her. Yeah, that's big. She's quite spam a lot, so lower global cooldown is going to be pretty useful for her. So we'll see how that all works out. Yeah. Well, these so are that's all quite preliminary patch notes. Obviously, the patch notes will be released probably a week from now. But this is what we've got our hands on. We've got the link to the source below. But stay tuned for more information. Also in the news, Riot shit their pants about Valve. Again, yeah. Or or, or they've introduced a 5 million um, overall prize pool for Season 2. Yeah. Now, just to mention, this isn't $5 million for one tournament. This will be over the entire season, so all the regionals, all the qualifiers. So no one's actually going to be walking home with $5 million. It's, yep. um, it's actually going to be over time. Probably the, the final, it, dream, if it is going to be a dream hack, will be at least half a million, at least, for the final tournament. So it'll be it'll be big, definitely. But you know, it's just all. It'd be awesome to see this because it is literally a direct competition to Valve. It's what they're planning on doing, yeah. and obviously they're doing so well. They feel like they can easily pull this off. So well, the, the good thing about those two is that you know they're just going to be competing with each other to give us better stuff because they want to compete with each other. So we're probably going to get some but more free skins or more more things just to make us stay on League of Legends. So this competition is always good. So check out the link below, it'll take you to the um, the page, but there's going to be a 5 million prize pool for Season 2. Awesome. As a final note, we were right with the skins, they are actually legitimate skins. Three of them are already out, we've got the Bloodstone Tag, which costs you 975 RP. The um, Rugged Garen, which is actually called the Vagabond Garen now, I think, apparently. is also Vagabond Garen skin! 975, and the Obsidian Malphite is also out for 975. Obviously the rest is still coming. They're all, they all seem to be pretty legit, so uh, they're pretty good skins, so you can go buy them in the store now, at least some of them. What's on sale? This week's on sale champion is going to be Kennen. You can pick up the complete Kennen bundle, which includes the champion and all skins, all for 1579 RP. Alternatively, you can get 50% off each skin and the champion individually. So that's the Kennen MD skin, Karate Kennen skin, Swamp Master Kennen skin, Deadly Kennen skin, and obviously the original champion, all 50% off. So definitely take a look at this. Kennen's always been great fun to play. 
one of my uh, one of my favourite characters in that sort of sense. Just a great great last to play. Strong in ranked, so definitely look to pick him up. He's a good character. League of Legends community. In the community this week, I've got a great forum post for you all. It's a forum post of lol memes. Now, what a meme is, it's a picture with a personality attributed to it, and it's just a phrase said that you can relate to. So, um, I will, I will pop, we'll pop some up and you can see. So, um, here's one. This is the troll face. Server transfer will be available soon. <laughs> now, this is funny because, you know, they're just trolling us. They always said it was available. So, do you know, actually, by the way, news, server transfers are available. You can transfer to East or West, by the way. So... Boom! Um, one I quite liked was uh, Rank Solo Q, Insta Lock Severe, <laughs> the Smiling Dog. <laughs> yeah. I did quite like that one when I saw it. Uh, Galio Alti, Team Ignores It from the Forever Alone guy. <laughs> These are all good. Touched. It's a tw 20 page thread or whatever it is. We'll link it below so you can have a look. Maybe even add your own. But there's some really good memes in there. I I I've always been looking for some lol memes. And now there's a whole thread dedicated to it. So check it out. Great thread. Check it out. It's good fun. Chata! This week's question, will the proposed changes to support change the current metagame? What do you think? Well, now, the current metagame, as we all know, is solo top, sort of tanky. It's everyone farms for 25, 30 <laughs> minutes, and then there's a big team fight, and whoever wins that fight basically wins the game. Yeah, Woo! it's a jungler, it's your DPS tankish jungler, DPS tankish solo top, a uh, AD carry along with support bottom and mage mid. Now that's the current meta game. Now what they're doing is nerfing to the ground one of the main support champions, Soraka. Now this may force the new meta game, which everyone really, everyone, no, everyone's getting sick and tired of this current meta game. I think they do it on purpose. They want the game to be as enjoyable and as fun as possible. Obviously, with the new competition coming out, they don't want it to be a boring game for yeah. the first 20 minutes. They want it to be not always support bottom lanes. They want like what I think is quite a good tactic is double stun bottom and I think you'll see a lot more of any sort of stun knock up slows at bottom especially yeah because of a, a shit of Soraka means that you can overpower them stronger now so if someone does yeah. take Soraka you can overpower them much easier now so if anyone took the Soraka sort of Caitlyn Soraka Ash bottom pair you could easily take them down if she's got barely any heal 20 second cooldown yeah Two strong stuns, a lot of burst damage. You're gonna, you're gonna see a lot of fireworks on bottom. It lane. adds more it's potential open characters the game. to the game. More potential characters, because more people are gonna be eat, are be more viable now because of the lesser heal. Yeah, I would agree. So you're gonna see a lot of more played characters, I think, at bottom. But saying that, Shrock is not the only support. You know, there is Tarek, Yana, Jana, Yana. I think, I think what will happen is, I don't know. I think, imagine if you went into a rank game and everyone just banned supports. That would be a interesting rank game, actually, wouldn't it? That would, that would open it up so much. It would be it would be great. I mean, yeah, this is it's it's definitely going to make the game a bit more interesting because who who actually enjoys playing Soraka? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. And a lot of the time, if you yeah, you're not enjoying playing her, but you're playing her because you know if you play Soraka well, you can pretty much carry your team yeah. in a weird sort of way. If you can let the bottom farm, get them up to a nice big farm at bottom for 20 minutes yeah it's like it could almost be game over at the end of the game when you look at your score you're like zero for four like, yes two minion kills yes <laughs> zero for four what a great score the, the, Boy, yeah the, i think sometimes you're worse off when you look at your score you're like oh one for four what am i doing getting kills <laughs> yeah such a bad support yeah i should just be dying <laughs> getting assists I'm not even getting assists yeah sometimes the heal bugs out and it doesn't give me an assist well, it's an interesting because they, they've always said they want to change the meta game, and I think this is their step towards it. Because like, maybe you'll see two junglers now, double junglers, or because that's also a good meta game. Have one jungle top, one jungle bottom, or maybe even a complete switch around. So you have the AD carry at mid, and have two mages at bottom. This could be, this could be good. I think this is a good step forward because I doubt they want to have the same dream hack as they had last year of this year. Yeah, they don't. Wanna, they don't want to see exactly the same thing happen again. They want to make this esports more challenging. And make it more inventive because they don't want to just see the same 20 champions played every single game. So, will it change the meta game? Maybe not yep. this patch, but they're heading towards it. I think they are heading towards it. Definitely, and they want it to be. They want the game to be more exciting and more more playable, more interesting. Yeah, so it's a more step action. in the right direction. I think definitely a step in the right direction. Upcoming champion, the newest champion that will be added to the game will be Talon, the Blade Shadow. Uh, he is sort of cloaked assassin champion. And he's apparently a man of both utility and flair. And he has a disappearing act. So he may be actually the new stealth champion, for all we know. My blade serves no one! I want him to speak like that. 
He could you know, actually. Kind of, Every fool said to kill me is another body for the gutter. <laughs> or he could talk with like a really sort of um, Cockney London accent. Alright lads. <laughs> Alright lads. My blade serves no one. Cock geezer. Because <laughs> that kind of looks like old school-ish London. Yeah, he's apparently a gentleman as well. So I don't know if you'll be Cockney though. Ooh, maybe it's, it's kind of like Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper. Ooh. There's, there's a crow in the picture. This is also. Awesome. There's a crow. There's a crow on a sword. So maybe That's... he's related to Swain. He could be related to Swain in some way in the law. S- Swain's broski. Yeah. His, 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 he, Swain could be gay. It could be his boyfriend. He's, they, uh... could have a, they could have a little fetish thing for crows going on. Yeah. Well, it, it could be a new stuff. Let's jam- put it like this. When Swain uses ulti, who knows where those crows are coming from? <laughs> enough said. Enough said. Yeah. I think you've said enough, actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, we'll we'll give you more Please, information. Kids don't have nightmares about crows tonight. Yeah, we'll give you more information when we get it. But he could be a new stealth champion. I'm looking forward to this guy. You're looking forward to every new. I champion. look forward to every champion, even though Scarlet was a bit of a disappointment. Yeah, but he looks interesting. He does look interesting. Yeah. Cockney geezer. Cockney geezer. No, Co- I said that. Cockney Jack totally the Ripper. Did. The Cockney Jack the Ripper. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Something yeah. Like that. Yeah. He looks interesting. He does. Who's that champion? It's Sona. Yep, I said this was going to be a hard one, but the first person that commented actually got it right. It was a uh, Woodleaf Elf who was the first person to get it right. It was a tough one. Quite a few who got it, but thanks for applying. Um. Yep. Ooh. This is the um, um, tenth one. It's a hard one, actually. It's def- definitely an I. It's definitely an I. Yeah. Well. If you think you know who that champion is, please leave a comment below. And next week, we'll reveal who the first person to get it right was. And uh, just as a side note, thank you all for your support recently. The channel's been going really fast. We're on 400 subscribers now. I mean, Are we? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that changed quickly. It's actually two weeks ago. We were on 250. So we've gained 150 in two weeks. So thank you all for joining us. Thank, thank you for staying thanks very with much. us, actually. And we'll just yeah. keep pumping out these videos. So, you know, stay tuned for more videos. So thanks for watching. And goodbye. Thank you very much for watching and subscribing and goodbye. <laughs> See ya. Merci. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Très bien. Très bien. Oui. Si. Ah, uh, whatever. Goodbye.